This is a guitar. Uh, yeah, this is a 1949 D18. I'd always wanted D18. I mostly played Gibsons in my life, or a few different makers. Like the, there's a great maker up uh, near Kalamazoo, Aaron. I can't think of his last name right now. Old guy. Uh, who just passed a couple years ago. He made guitars called Jubal guitars. And I don't think they're well known, but Aaron worked for Gibson when they were in Kalamazoo for many years. And then when in the 80s, I believe it was, they moved out to Montana, Aaron didn't want to move, so he stayed there. He lived, he lived in a little town near Kalamazoo, and he bought a lot of the old Gibson wood including a big piece of solid mahogany that they used as a ramp to drive trucks into the garage. Yeah. Anyway, so Aaron started making guitars. He had worked making guitars all those years, but just on his own. And the only way I can describe it is like having a, a new old Gibson. He made them with the old techniques. The neck on the one I've got is like a baseball bat. I mean, beautiful guitars. But I played, I played most of Gibson's. I always wanted a D18 for some reason. I played a few that I really liked. And I always figured they were way out of my price range. But I happened to be out in Philadelphia. And there's a guy out there named Fred Oster who runs a, a Vintage Instruments, I think it's called. And my daughter, Pieta, who's a little bit of a mystical person, she said, Dad, I think we should stop in at, a, at the Vintage. I said, OK. And we stopped in there. She walked, we went down to the guitar room. She walked right over to this guitar, took it off the rack and said, here, play this, Dad. And I did, and I really liked it. And Fred wandered in about then and said, oh, yeah, that's the best sound that we have, guitar we have right now, Martin. So I, I, get, I ended up getting it. And the price was like a lot less than I'd expected it to be. But I always had a soft spot for old D-18s for some reason. And I, I enjoy playing with it. I enjoy singing with it. Uh, you know, I started off, uh, my mother played guitar, and my mother had a, a, a big uh, 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 arch top Gibson electric guitar, uh, and she played that through an amp. It was, I still have that guitar. It's a beautiful old guitar. My uncle played it in a country band for about 10 years and left it out in the van, and so all the finish came off, but it still sounds great. Uh, so that was my first real guitar guitar. I basically learned to play on that guitar. It was a, it was a, you know, it had a really deep body, even though it was a hollow body electric. Uh, you could play it acoustically. Plus, I'm, I just remember my dad, uh, he wired it up so I could play. We had one of those little console radios mm -hmm. with this, you know, it got like a probably 12, 14 inch speaker. He, he, rigged it around so I could plug into that and play my guitar through the old radio. So that's how I started. And then, I don't know, the first real guitar, I mean, what you could call a real guitar, I just made do with whatever I could afford for many years. But I did, the first really, you know, really good guitar I ever owned was uh, a Nick Lucas Gibson from, from the late 20s. And uh, that was just a ma one of those magical guitars, you know, and I kind of, I really fell in love with that Gibson acoustic. It kind of got a thump to it. It's uh, particularly the mahogany ones I like. They just have a certain thing to them I really relate to, and I think uh, they're good guitar to sing with, too, for me. I'm really more of a singer, I would say, than I am. A, I mean, I love playing the guitar, but, you know, I don't spend a lot of time, I just try to accompany the song, basically. Uh, but I, I, I just, you know, you fall in love with certain, some of them are, they just have a life to them, you know. After you've been playing for a while, you can walk in to a room and you can kind of sense. I tell you, uh, this guy, uh, if I can think of his name, down in Nashville, uh, producer Kennedy, uh, can't think of his first name. Ray? Ray, Ray Kennedy. Uh, Bo and I, who plays electric guitars with me, uh, we were down there working on a record uh, in Nashville. And Ray had an old uh, uh, national guitar, metal body, that was just about the spookiest thing I've ever, I mean, 
Bo and I both played and we were both like, <laughs> you know. <laughs> and Ray told us later that Bonnie Ray, every time she, he won't sell out of course, uh, but every time Bonnie Ray comes to town, she comes over to the, uh, Ray's studio and sits with that guitar for a while. So there are certain guitars that just have a, a life to them that just, uh, so I don't know, I just love all that stuff. And I, 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 I've got, uh, you know, I don't own a huge amount of guitars, but I've got a, a couple really nice old Gibsons, an old Gibson Country Western, and a couple J45s, and I still got that old Nick. And they're just, they're just soulful, you know. I hardly, it's unusual that I, I mean, I never take them out on the road anymore. I just, it's too, airlines, it's just too, but this guitar really wanted to come. It's hardly been played in public. <clears throat> so my wife had just gotten a new Colton case. I've got a Colton case, but it's needs some work. <laughs> so Iris let me borrow her Colton, so I put it in there and it made it out. So, but yeah, it's just uh, I think you know, it's uh, you, you just uh, come to love certain instruments. It becomes a real relationship. You know, I remember particularly when I was younger. If I'd be feeling lonely or sad or something, I'd pick up the guitar and it, it would help you out, you know. So, yeah, I think of the guitar a, a lot as uh, p percussion. Yeah. Yeah. I like uh, people like J.B. Lenore, different players I could mention that would uh, literally use the guitar as a drum too, you know, yeah. while they were playing on Big Joe Williams. I mean, I love that old tick when they get to. J.B. Lenore, he was very, you know, he didn't do a lot of beating, but he just hit that little thing. And obviously, you got a drum right there. <laughs>